I have business people working for me. They said, Tim, we're gonna put you out there. Cause I told myself I'm, I was launching all of my businesses in 2020. I'm launching my book, I'm launching my credit repair, I'm launching my sales training, I'm launching everything. Then COVID-19 hit. Me and my business partner Ruben like, man, what are we gonna do, Tim? I said, we're gonna work. I just stayed on the computer, I didn't stop. I built three more websites. I had three, I was about to launch those three. I said, let's build three more. So I built the clothing website. And I built the book website. We just kept building. Now we're doing the footwork now, we're marketing. So we're gonna take everything out on YouTube, we're gonna go out in the field and bring up this. This is not just for me to make money. This business, the genesis of this business is make a difference while making money. That's the genesis of this business. That's why I created it. If I don't make any money, we're going to make a difference. Period. I'm here tonight. How much did y'all pay to come here? It's on my shirt. But guess what? You pay more than money. You know why? Your time. Say it again. You can't get your time back. If you pay $20, you can go get that tonight. Hey man, let me borrow $20. Or go to the ATM or if you lose $20, you can get that back. You see what I'm saying? But guess what? It's free. Now the reason I brought that up, do you know the things that we pay for, we value? The things that we don't pay for, we don't value. We don't research it. Our mind. How much did you pay for your mind? How much did it cost you? Nothing. Nothing. How much did you pay for yours? Zero. But yet still, we know nothing about it. Like I was talking earlier, there are people who know more about their car than they do themselves. That's why I studied that. Because once I get you to the point where I'm talking about self-awareness, once you become self-aware, you go buy, open up your dealership. Whatever you want to do. Matthew wants to do his IT business. So guess what? I got to coach him on leveraging. He got to get 1% of 100 people on a computer. The good thing about it is he can have somebody in that lab. All he needs is an 800 number. They call him, hey, I got a project for you. What was that you was telling me about you could fix my computer being at home? A remote working. You see what I'm saying? I can show him how to do that business from A to Z. I can show him how to do it. All he got to do is learn how to do this. He got to sell himself. People want to work for him. Then he got to get other people that want to work with him. Other businesses. I can show him how to do it. Why? Because I understand this. And so what you want to do is you want to be the hunted, not the hunter. You want people calling you. See, with my business, I don't call people. Lady called me earlier today, Tim, I need to talk to you about something. I'm like, 404, where are you? I'm in Atlanta. Why? She found me on the internet. All they do is research. I had a guy call me from Virginia a couple of years ago. Tim, I watched one of YouTube videos. I want to fly down. I'm going to build a shadow you for 24 hours. I got a financial advertise, um, advice, advisory business. I'm trying to, I said, you need to leverage yourself. I said, go to my website. It's a price on there. You can follow me. The internet. I didn't, I didn't know him. He found me. I just figured out how to get my information in front of people. That's all I did. With YouTube. With Facebook. With Instagram. With websites. With other people that see it. Hey man, you need to watch this guy on YouTube. Hey man, you need to go to this website. Hey, I was over here at the auto church. This guy was speaking about his book. That's it, it's best advertising. How much do you pay for that? But you don't want it to be bad, why? So that's why I talk about this. And it's simple, I don't make it complicated, it's simple. But the problem is we just don't know how do we get on the internet, what do we do? Because most people don't even know what they want to do. I can't tell you how many CEOs, deans of colleges, I'll sit down and talk to you. Doctorates. You know, they say, Tim, can you coach me? I don't know what I want to do. I've been doing this for 20 years. I want to do something else. 
I'm like, okay, what do you want to do? I don't know. You know what? That's self-awareness. You're not self-aware. You don't know what you want to do. You're 50 years old. I mean, I know how much more time you need, 100 more years to figure it out. But so this is what I asked him. I come back to you, why? I asked him one question. What would you do all day if you didn't get paid for it? And that's what we have to ask ourselves. Guess what I would do? Take a guess. Say a little bit louder. It's not a rocket scientist. Most people, when I meet them, they're like, man, this, this, this. I don't know what I want to do. But when they leave me, they got a game plan. They got a strategy. They got a blueprint because that's what I do. My only focus when I go to Walmart or wherever is when I look at a person, I'm like this. What I'm thinking is how can I help this person? They ring it up my goes, boop, boop, boop. I'm doing just like this. But what they don't know is I'm reading them because I can, you know, I had to study that. In sales, but I just went a little bit deeper. It's way past body language. You know, because we don't hide anything. You know, because we just, we give off energy. Most people can't pick up on that. I can't. Why? Because I studied my mentor has taught me that. So when people come to me and they say, no, 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 I just look at them. They're not saying no. They're scared. Most people, they go to a car lot. Oh, let me think about it. They're scared of what? Making a mistake. Paying too much. Buying a lemon. Guess what? That's what anything. Now let's talk about them starting their own business. Guess what they are? They're scared. Guess why? If I fail, what other people might think about me once I fail? I could care less. You got to fail your way to success. Keep this with you. Failure is not a person. It's an event. So when you do something, you failed at that event. You didn't fail. But most people, they, whatever, the, bank, the business go bankrupt, they just, oh, I don't do that. I just keep going. I don't care what. I can't tell you how many walls and obstacles and detours I ran in doing this book. I plenty of times I said, man, forget it. Forget that book. No, God, dog. The next morning I wake up, it's just like it's calling me. It's pulling me. You got to do it. You got to do it. See, whatever you're chasing is chasing you. You just got to know. See, what problem is most people, they go after things that make money. Like my son, he just graduated high school. He had Bishop State College studying welding. He wanted to do underwater welding. I just looked at him like, dude, really? What's why he wanted to do it? Guess why? Oh, you can make so much money. Guess what? He don't want to do underwater weather no more. It changes. It's going to take him a while to figure out his why. It took me a while. I was in probably my industry about three years, and I figured out I wanted to train people. It started out with salespeople, and I just kept going. That's how I wrote the book. Anybody can benefit from it. I didn't write it just for salespeople. I don't care if you're a barber. I don't care if you're a babysitter. You want to open up your own daycare, landscaping. I don't care. You want to get into real estate? It don't matter. You better learn how to sell. One of the main things you can do is sell you because people buy you first. They got to trust you, believe you. You got to be honest, showing that you have principle, moral, and value beliefs. Then it says what? Selling yourself is the best sale you'll ever make. Investing yourself is the best investment you'll ever make. Guess why we don't do that? Why we don't invest in ourselves? We weren't taught that. In school, we're taught to invest in everything under the sun but ourselves. In the college education, in the job, in the car, in the house. Guess what? Where are you at? You invested in everything except what? You. That's why I wrote the book. Investing in yourself, guess why? You'll always get a return on it. They can't repossess it. They can't foreclose on it. They can't sue you because you haven't paid them. That's all I've ever done. All of this stuff here. This is investing. I buy it, resell it. Buy, resell it. The same thing. Anything you want to do, you just got to know the steps. See, this is not even a pinch of what I know. Because I have workshops that are eight hours a day and they last for 30 days. This ain't even a pinch. You got to understand, this somebody been studying since 1995. Going to the bookstore, going to the library. You know, having a girlfriend, she break up with you and say, dude, you too busy. You know, she laying in the bed naked. I'm on the computer. 
What time you coming to bed? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to finish this book. She said, boy, you've been working on that book for three years. I'm almost finished. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Said you are finished. Yeah. She what? what? Let's man, she just. Next thing I know, she got up and left. I got to go to work. Okay. But that just. That's what I'm passionate about. You know what I'm saying? I've always been that way. I just had to figure out how do I hone it. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, a, a shot is just a controlled explosion. You know, a gunshot, it's just a controlled explosion. So we take it deeper, like I was saying with the heat seeking missile. What do you really want to do? This is the best time to do it, no matter what it is. You got the internet. All these tools are handed to us, but we don't know how to use them. It's not that we don't, we don't know how to use them. That's what I'll show you how to do. How to use Facebook, how to use Twitter, how to use Instagram, how to use, just keep going. That's where all my information is at. I just put everything out there and I did this. The phone call started coming in. Tim, we want to fly you out. Okay. Pay for my hotel, pay for my plane ticket, pay for my car service, my Uber, whatever. I'll be there. But now we're finna, we, we launching it bigger on a bigger scale. I'm not going to say it, but I like to show people. A lot of people think I just, it's just talk. When I was talking, I'm writing a book. They thought it was just talk. Okay. If I tell you I'm doing something, it's done. So when I told somebody I was writing a book, I did that to my mother because I wrote it at her house. I walked in the living room. I said, hey, I said, I'm writing a book. She said, you are? I said, yeah. I did like this. Guess what she said? Uh, look like you wrote a book. But that's how I am. If I tell you I'm about to do something, I did it. It just hadn't been manifested to you yet. I don't care what I'm doing, but we're about to do, we're about to do some bigger things because I just finally partnered up with some bigger people that can help me launch this in a bigger way. But that was always the goal, to help more people. Any questions? Doing something when you leave them speechless. Blew me away when you said the uh, direct TV thing at Sam's or Costco. Because being around you working with you, I just did the same thing last year when they had it set up. It just drew me to go in and just That's see. It. That's it. I had confidence in the way I do things, and I'm going to see how this young guy really was trying to do what he was doing. And it wasn't I was picking on him. I was like, Tim, I want to see what he needed to make himself better. And I said That's the same it. Thing he said. I said, hey, That's it. When it just sprinkles. Direct TV goes out. Exactly. I said, when my mother-in-law and father are trying to catch the news on the local channels, it crashes. And I said, I found the real reason why. I said, because they want you to change your old boxes for the local yep. channels inside another three-year company. There you I said, go. I'm not sure I don't know nothing about that. Right then and there, it told me they put him out on the floor, naked with the business, and said, get people to fill these out. Yeah. And it was the truth. I said, where you go? And but that's about to change. Because what we're launching now, we're going into every business. And tell me about this business card one more thing like that. Remember yesterday, was it yesterday, day before yesterday? I come to you, I was shocked to sort of couple a vehicle and they were so excited to get it when they left. He went to get his boat, put it in the water. When he put it in the water, his friend said, what was the name of that guy did you just bought your vehicle from? He said, Ronnie Smith. He said, what is the coincidence of this happening? He said, what do you mean? He said, uh, is this, is, this is Ronnie Smith right here. Let me find it. He said, tell me my phone and blew my mind. They found my business card at the Sarah and Arena launch. And at the same time, just hours after the guy bought the car, Somebody the other day bought a boat from me down there. Evidently, they dropped my car. You can tell us in the water. That blew my mind because the fact of, I thought I was going to get back to the water. But like I said, this man, the business car came. Not with the guy. The guy was in his pocket, evidently. But it was cool to see that happen. It was amazing. I learned a lot by listening to Tim. 
That's his thing. He does just what he has to do. He's so calm and cool with it. I'm nine miles an hour. Yeah. So he's actually slowed me down some. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. Let me tell you something about that. We don't need to slow down. We need to calm down. Right. You don't need to slow down. Right. Let me tell you why. You need to calm down and get people around you going fast. Right. But it's here. Physical is okay. You can run, run. But calm down here. Put stuff on paper. Put a blueprint together. Structure it. And say, okay, I need, like now, I need Ace for the video, do the editing. I need Matthew doing IT. I need Ruben doing here. I need Ace doing my audio. You see what I'm saying? I got people to edit my book, format it. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I help you with. You slowing down. Calm down and get other people. Man, I'm late for work. Ronnie gonna kill me. You, you see what I'm saying? And anybody can do it. What I have to tell you, you just have to see it. You just gotta see it. That's why I have to get people. If you think it, you can hold it. Energy flows where attention goes. So you just have to see it. That's what I had to do when I started this. I was training guys at work in 1995. One guy said to me, Tim, you need to do this for a living. I'm like, I don't know how to run no business. What do you mean do this for a living? I don't, I'm working on a job. I couldn't see myself. Now I have six businesses. I'm working on more. You see what I'm saying? So back then, it's the difficult thing for us is it's difficult to see the picture when you're in the frame. Somebody else can see it in you. I do. I look at Caesar. He want to do martial arts instructing. I can see it in him. Caesar called me and said, what, Tim, I got a what? YouTube what? Oh, um, yeah, YouTube video. YouTube channel? Yeah. Why did you get a YouTube channel? Sure, I just went and did it. Yeah, who asked you or taught you, coached you, this is what you need? I have to say you again. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? I just say forget So Do I'm it. not trying to say, ask him that to build me up. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying it's difficult to see the picture when you're framed. I had to just put that spark, and now... He just showed me a video a few minutes ago. Tim, I made a video. I've been doing this for no, years. No, about everything. I just figured some stuff out. Exactly. Like, he went to the office. He bypassed me. He went to my wife. and said, what's it going to take? I got to talk to him. He's finally here. Now, this is the thing, though. How long have I been on you? That's what I'm saying. He went to my wife and my wife said, you better listen. I said, long have, I'm interested. How long have I been on you? A while. How long is a while? Right. How long is a while? What, I've been there two months at that one. So this is what I'm saying. I ain't gonna write up the board anymore, but I'm saying that because when I'm asking you in detail, that's called definiteness of purpose. That's not you see what I'm saying? That's why I'm asking you to break it down. We need to get into exact. I got you. All right. I have a oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, I don't know. I have a YouTube channel, and it's like real talk, but I didn't think of it. I just I played around with it, with it made it happen. Going with it, and I got like 69 videos out right now across the globe. And now it's just like, what just the dude just keep it going? Just make me a video, and then like you asking a question on what to keep it going? Yeah. Oh, I just sit down with yeah, you. Yeah. I just sit down with you and look at it and analyze it, and I'll tell you. It's easy. I just find out what you're doing and how you want to do it. What you seen in you? Mm hmm. I seen all along. Mm. It's just then it's, that's why I came to you to get him. I believed in you. I've been sitting on a plane one day, too. Is that on YouTube now? Yeah, I can look at it. Well, first of all, I'm glad it's another true martial arts. 